Well, good morning, dear friends. It's lovely to be with you again. Um, I've started this book a while ago. In fact, when I was in South Africa. Um, and let me just tell you a little bit about that. I used to make notebooks that had embossed metal covers like this. This was hand um, decorated paper that I used with a variety of paint techniques. And I used paint that I had um, thinned down with wallpaper paste because it doesn't let the paint dry too quickly. So it gives you time to get nice mottled textures. And this one I used a sponge. I did do these books with traditional bookbinding techniques where I bound the spines with mold cloth and then used bookbinders tape, which is what this black is. But before I left South Africa, I realized that I wanted to actually do something with sewing because my gran is a very important part of my life and she was just this most amazing person who just resonated with my soul and she always had my back um, through a very difficult childhood. So I actually took out all of the pages that were originally in here and I created a new inside cover. So I had some paper and I used some silver that I had decorated with and then I took a little stencil with some texture paste. I don't know if you can see that very clearly. This is texture paste here that I've done with the stencils um, and this was another piece of hand decorated paper just for the center just to cover the spine. So I'd actually taken everything out completely, destroyed the book. Um, and then I created a whole lot of signatures and some of those I have already started working a little bit about. My gran was a madly passionate sewer. She used to make all her own clothes. She loved her garden and nature. And she had a real love for birds. So at this stage, this book has got the makings of some different ephemera in it, but nothing that I've really worked on terribly hard. I've got little bits and pieces in place. This was a piece of a bag that she had. Um, I loved it to bits. It was like a knitting bag, but it started to fall apart and I knew I couldn't bring it with me. So I just took a piece and put that on as a memory of her. That is more a memory of her with her sewing. She didn't have a dressmaker's dummy, but she always did make her own clothes. And then I've just got a few other little bits and bobs in these pages. She loved this sort of turquoisey colour and she had a passion for swallows. Um, they used to come to her home when she was sitting outside on her balcony and she used to enjoy that. So I've got things in place here that I'm wanting to work with. Um, I think it's going to be a fun journal to do. But to begin with, I need to decide on a binding technique. And because some of the pages will probably need to come out to be worked on because I want to use paints and things as well. I think what I'm going to do is just do what I call an insertion binding where I can actually just take the signatures in and out as I need it. So this is from my gran. This is York Street Irish Linen Thread. It was 18 over 7. That must have been some kind of imperial measurement or something or maybe it's the thickness of the thread I don't know she had this for years and as you can see there's loads on here so I'm going to use this so I'm taking into consideration how many signatures I've got I've got five here so I'm basically going to start in the front of my book and give myself a bit of a tail because I don't know what I want to do with it and then I'm going to wrap my thread around here five times maybe six uh, one This is waxed thread, that's why it's not coming off the reel that quickly, but that's rather nice. Three. Four. Five. I'm going to do six because I might want to actually add in something extra a little bit later on. Right, so I'm going to give myself equal amounts of thread here and I am going to just tie the knot here. The nice thing about working with a wax thread is it's actually not going to slip. Now do I want to tie through all of these? I think I might. So what I'm going to do here is just bind these threads together so they don't look a mess on the outside and by tying them together in the center it does 
make a little handle. I've did that with a baking journal that I'm making quite at the moment. So, yeah, I'm going to leave those little threads like that. And then all that happens now is I'll start with the one I'm going to have at the back. Find the center of my pages. And then the first thread, which is this one. I'm going to just slide these through. My pages aren't all the same size, so they're not going to be as easy to slide through as if you had all pages exactly the same size. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm not a normal person, I don't think. I've decided more and more the older I get that I actually don't do the things the way everybody else does. So I need to just line my threads up with what's at the top here. Bear with me. I need this thread. Yep, that one. So this one's coming in next. Just make sure you get all the pages through. Now somehow I've twisted this. There we go. Tuck those in nicely. And you'll find once you've got your threads in place, it does give you a nice, secure, firm binding. Right, there we go. This is the third signature. Let's find this thread from the top. Use my scissors, it's much easier. There we go. There we go. Come on. There we go. I've used a selection of materials here for starting with the ephemera in the pages. I've used some papers that I've decorated with paint and others that I've actually um, stuck on things like pieces of fabric. Um, yeah, there's a whole selection of different pages. Some are just printed scrapbooking pages. So I think it's going to be quite a nice, interesting mix to work on. I'm battling with this today. I don't know why. I think my eyes are tired. I've been trying, it's been a long weekend here and I've been trying to do too much, I think. One has to be kind to oneself, I think. Um, but one doesn't always want to. I get so excited by stuff that I want to just keep going. All right, slide this last one in. There we go. That. And then this is the one that I'm going to be wanting to work on right now. So I will put that into the last um, cord a little bit later. But this is the one that I'm going to start working on. So that just gives you an idea of the binding. And I will sh sh close this video down now so that it doesn't become too long. And then start the decorating on the next video. Bye for now.